My name is Nicole Simmons. I'm the Vice President of Business Development for Johnson Inc. We're the event producers of the Richmond Jazz Festival. Excellent. So can you give us an idea? I uh, understand this event has been going on three years. Where did the concept come from? Well, the concept really came from the desire of people that lived and worked and visited the Richmond region. They really just wanted some place to enjoy good music, good food, and a lot of fun. We had similar events, but in smaller locations, and the venue of Maymont Park is a hundred acres it's massive it's beautiful it's ideal for an event such as this so we decided you know we're going to start with the, a, a wonderful formula of quality of in, quality entertainment affordability and a lot of added value excellent so how long does it take you to put something like this together you know, I mean, we really work on it all year. There's different elements of researching the artists, looking at their tour schedules, um, figuring out where they're going to be. Then we have to figure out the correct order to place them in. And we really try to give a little bit more than just jazz. Of course, jazz is the basis of our offering, but we really try to offer additional genres such as blues, a little bit of R&B, some soul. Um, we, we try to mix it up a little bit and have something for everyone. So it takes a little bit of time to create that formula. And then, of course, it takes a lot of hands on deck to prepare for something of this size. We have vendors and contractors and production teams and stagehands, and it's really a, a, a large group effort. Excellent. So what are some of your goals? What do you think is going to happen in the future? Where do you all plan on going from here? You know, we just want to continue to provide uh, quality entertainment. We want to continue to bring an international element to Richmond so that we're right here in the center of the Mid-Atlantic, but so many different countries and cultures are represented. Um, it's really starting to have an international flair very organically. It's starting to adapt that on its own, and we want that to continue to grow year after year. And like I said, Maymont is 100 acres, so we definitely have room to grow. And can you give us an idea about how many people actually come to this event? You know, I think if we're looking at the total attendance for the weekend, somewhere around 15,000. There's a flow. It's uh, 12 hours of entertainment each day, so people come in and out. They enjoy themselves. They leave. They come back. But I would think that 15,000 is a, is a safe number. Excellent. Well, listen, I enjoyed this, and I'm going to let you go. But uh, what's your favorite part? Because I know you're doing so much. And it's got, it has to be stressful too. <laughs> what is your favorite part of, of what you're doing and what you see is happening with this festival? Absolutely. I think what we do, we do for jazz enthusiasts. And what we're also offering beyond magnificent jazz, chef demonstrations, wine tastings. We have a large marketplace of very eclectic, unique vendors. I think being able to pair so many different elements all in one space to go along with the music, that's my favorite part, to have so much to offer a single patron in one area.